Hey everyone, Vincent here from VincentWin.com and welcome to the second episode of After Effects 101, the tutorial series where I teach beginners the basic techniques of After Effects. Now if you haven't already watched episode 1, click on the video description below and click on the video link episode 1. You'll be redirected to a page where you can watch the general overview of After Effects interface so you can be more familiar with where things are in After Effects. Once you're done, come back to this video tutorial. But today in this video tutorial, we're going to be going over how to work with effects in After Effects. After all, it is After Effects and effects are very crucial. So let's begin. As a review, remember that all your effects are stored right here on the right under the Effects and Presets panel. You can scroll through and navigate through all the effects. Alternatively, you can go to the effects right here and navigate through the effects that way. Let's begin. Let's bring our let's create a new composition by going to Composition, New Composition. You can create a new composition this way, but for my case, I'm going to create a new composition a different way. I'm going to drag my footage down to this composition button right here. Let's do that right now. And by doing that, it creates a new composition with the same name as well as the same settings as your footage. So it created a composition with the same resolution, same bit, same duration, same frame rate, same everything by doing this. I'm going to scroll out by scrolling down so I can see our whole composition canvas right here. So let's start applying effects to it. How do we apply an effect to our footage or layer or whatever? How do we apply effects? Well, the first thing you want to do is select the layer that you want to apply an effect to. In my case, I'm going to select our blurry objects MOV. I'm going to apply an effect to this layer. So select it and let's go to the effects and select your effect. Now, most of the time I would search for the effect under the effects and preset search bar right here. But since we're a beginner and we don't really know what we're looking for and what effect we want, let's just go ahead and play around with the effects that we find. So select your layer, go to the effect, under color correction, let's find curves. So right here, you see that our curves effect has come up and it brought out a new panel. By default, we have our project panel right here. And next to the project panel, there's the effects controls panel where all your effects are stored for that particular layer. So this is called the effects control panel and it's right next to the products panel. Take note that there is a scroll bar right here and that it's very important that you know this because sometimes the effects panel and all sometimes the panels get all jammed up and tight and you can't see the effects controls panel or the project panel and I got lost one time but I didn't notice I mean who notices that this is a scroll bar it doesn't even look like a scroll bar but this is a scroll bar and it is here so take note back to the effects control panel you can play around with your effects this way keep in mind that not all effects look like this for example, let's go ahead and click on our layer again. Let's apply a different effect. Let's apply a hue and saturation. Again, as you can see, our hue and saturation effect right here looks completely different than our curves effect right here. It might take a little bit of time to get used to all the effects or the ones that you use most often, but it's very crucial. So learning is time. So just spend your time experimenting after effects and you should get familiar with some of the effects that you use most often. So again, you can change the saturation by dragging this indicator down or click on here and navigate and type in your own value. You can increase the lightness, etc. But basically, this is the core base structure on how to apply effects to a certain layer in After Effects. Now, let's go over adjustment layer. What are adjustment layers? Adjustment layers are the same thing as it is in Photoshop, if you're familiar with Photoshop. Basically, let's create a new adjustment layer right now. Layer, new, adjustment layer. And by default, you don't see anything happen. The only thing that you see different is that there's an adjustment layer right here. You can hit enter to rename it. And for an example, I'm just going to go to the project and import another footage into our composition right here. So basically, now I have two footages right here. I have the blurry, I have the blurry objects MOV and the blurry objects number two. So these are two completely different footages and they're different. And I'm gonna offset them a little bit in the timeline. Blurry objects number one. So first, our blurry objects O2 is gonna play first. As you see here, the layer is played first. And then our blurry objects MOV is gonna play second. As you can see, they're two different clips. Now, how do we apply an effect to both of these layers? Of course, if you want to apply a curve adjustment to both of these layers, you can just apply an effect here and an effect here but there's an easier way using adjustment layers. So let's go ahead and apply an effect to adjustment layer. Let's go apply our curves. And let's just go around and play with it. So as you can see, it affects both of our layers. 
let's turn the adjustment layer off by hitting the eye switch it looks different so it's essentially adjustment layers are layers that you can apply effects to and it affects everything underneath it so if you apply anything to adjustment layer it's also going to apply to everything underneath the adjustment layer now if I duplicate it and drag a layer on top of the adjustment layer it will not be affected as you can see this is our two footages that have been affected by the adjustment layer and this is the third footage right here that was not affected at all so remember that adjustment layers are layers that you apply effects to that affect everything underneath it and it's a really quick way to color correct I mean I most of the time use adjustment layers to color correct because you want to color correct all your footages below it but it's a very nice way to organize things and it can come in handy when you want to create masking and all that stuff so just keep that in mind so this is basically a general overview of applying effects and using effects and managing them in after effects thanks for watching guys this is a very basic tutorial don't forget to watch the next episode episode three click on the video description below to watch episode three don't forget to check out my website at vincentwin.com where i have a whole bunch of freebies project files music products free products everything like that and you'll be updated with the news and everything on what's going on in the industry what's happening what's what what's out there that's free all the great video tutorials on the internet from various sources regarding after effects some inspiration all that stuff vincentwin.com bookmark it revisit it comment it there's a whole bunch of free content up here and it'll be really useful for beginners especially to you guys so thanks for watching guys and comment subscribe and check out my channel for more video tutorials and thanks for watching